we are here with the wonderful Jasmine James today. Now, I know Jasmine James before I worked in the porn industry and she comes on set a lot. Yes. Strut her stuff. So she's come here today and she's happy to ask a few questions about the porn industry. So first question, who are you and what do you do? I'm Jasmine James and I work in the adult industry, I'm obviously doing various different things. Many different things, you've yeah. got many fingers in many pairs. Yes, I do. I like to um, have my options open. Yeah. So why did you get into porn? I think um, I wanted to make a name for myself and that's the truthless answer. Yeah. Um, you know, when I was younger, um, I wasn't like, you know, friendly with like certain people, like I didn't really have like a, a good a group of friends and yeah. it was like, you're nothing. So I was like, I'm on a mission to actually be someone and enjoy who yeah. I am and everything. Mm. So yeah, I, I just wanted to obviously um, make a name for myself and I have done now. Yeah, I'm gonna absolutely. Keep, I'm gonna keep yeah. doing yeah. pushing on. <laughs> so like when you were growing up, did you mm. always want to do porn or did you have other um, aspirations? I kind of, it was like, obviously I definitely wanted to get into modeling and mm. that's what I first did. I started doing modeling first, doing just, you know, the, the fashion kind and everything. And I worked my way up. So obviously I didn't want to jump into the, you know, right into the deep end and be like full of steam. You know, mm. I wanted to obviously work, you know, what by a bit, you know, doing fashion, then glamour, then obviously, um, you know, various other different kinds of shoots that I did. Mm -hmm. And then um, went into doing TV stuff, and that's obviously how meeting different um, people, and that led me to yeah. doing, you know, what I do now. Did mm -hmm. you start doing glamour sh like shoots first of all? Or? Um, yes, I did um, fashion first, mm -hmm. and then glamour, then obviously, um, like you know, topless and yeah, yeah. so on. Mm. Yeah. So you worked your way up. You yeah. weren't just thrown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to, to obviously take you know stage by stage because then if I go straight to the deep end and not like it, mm. it's done. You know. Yeah. Well, so you, you don't yeah, go. You you sort of have your limits still even now. Yeah. You've been in the industry how long now? Like five, six years, maybe. Six years, yeah, yeah. on and off. Yeah. But you've so, got your limits. You say no to quite yes, a lot of stuff. Yes. Oh, I think. Good. I think. Um, there's, you know, there's some people, you know, that obviously don't put their foot down mm. and I think more people do need to put their foot down and say, I don't want to do that. You know, um, for me, the only thing I would say is I've obviously, you know, for me to be feel more confident in myself and everything, um, I like to have my own style. Mm. So I like more retro pinup kind of style yeah. and everything. So, you know, I like to keep covered a bit. Sometimes it's nice to keep covered but have a little bit mm. you know the teasers there yeah, <laughs> you yeah, love your lingerie oh always yeah. in like yeah. full on lingerie yes. on set yeah so nice yeah. <laughs> so when you started doing porn what were people's reactions like your family and friends um rather interesting actually um <laughs> well so i um some of them do know some of them don't know some of them probably do know but they don't tell me um but I mean, my sisters, they're fine with it. They absolutely love the fact that I, I'm doing what I do. And not just because of the, the whole porn thing, but they just like the fact that I'm actually going out there, mm. getting everything for myself. And doing and, what you want. And doing well. what I want yeah. to do, because there's nothing worse than living your life and pleasing other people, but you're mm. not pleasing yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, Absolutely. you only live one life at the end of the day and live it how you want to do it. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, yeah. That's very good advice. That's very good <laughs> advice. <laughs> we keep saying, like, love yeah. your life. Like, you know, have it as the way you want yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Fuck exactly. everyone else. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Fuck them. But how does working in porn make you feel? Um, do you know what? I've recently, it's kind of like, at first I was like, I'm going to know about it. But now, like, when I go on set now, I feel like, you know, it's more like a, some of the, the, the companies that I work for, they're, it's like a family kind mm. of thing. Like, you know, you go on set, obviously, yeah, you've got to be professional and do your thing. And it is, it can be long, hard, you know, days, you mm. know, if it's a big production. Hard hours. Definitely. And, yeah, and people don't realise that it can be harder than what it looks. Yeah, it could be a 14 um, hour shoot. It, I mean, yeah, I know. I've been on set for one of them. I was there for three days, you know. Jesus. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, but it was worth it, it looks amazing. Um, now, um, I just think, I enjoy it. Mm. I actually really do enjoy it. I like the, you know, when you finished your work and everything, you have a little laugh after and everything. And sometimes I, I stay there for 
you know, an extra few hours just to chat to, you know, the, the other people and everything. Mm. And I enjoy that because you get to know them a little bit better. So what are the negatives of working in porn? I don't think there's many negative things. I mean, that might be, you know, if you want to get in a relationship, maybe mm. there's that negative kind of thing of, you know, your your partner might not approve of your past, mm. which I've been in that boat. Um, you know, obviously I, I told him, you know, that I've been in this industry for, you know, for some time. I stopped everything, but obviously he couldn't really hack it, couldn't get his head around it. I mean, there's various other people that, you know, are fine with it, but obviously some people just don't get the, you know, yeah, they don't understand yes. it until, you know, they're actually in it or they actually want to know how it actually works. Yeah. So, well, most people end up having relationships with other people in the industry. They, they do. Um, yeah, I've actually dated someone that was in the industry mm. um, and everything and it was fun. It was really fun. I mean, you know, I used to go to shoots with him um, and everything. I used to, you know, be on set and he's, you know, working with someone else. I quite enjoyed it. Mm. Yeah. But it's all, it's all to do with trust, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, definitely. And it doesn't make a difference whether they're in porn or not. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think, um, yeah, trusting someone, mm. definitely that's the big, you know, you've got to be trusting that person 100%. Yeah. I mean, are there any rules, like, if you were in a relationship with a guy that's not in porn? Um, well, I was in a relationship with a guy and I actually stopped completely. Mm. You know, I thought, you know, if the guy doesn't really want me doing um, certain things, then I stopped. Um, you know, because obviously I think that's out of respect to, to, to him, you know, so I think I did the right thing. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely, yeah. But then now you're back. Hell <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Do you have any opinion on under 18s watching pornography? Mm. I strongly don't agree with that. Mm. I think, you know, mm. obviously on every website they stay over 18s only. And it's there for a reason. <laughs> there, it was there for a reason, guys. Come on now. <laughs> and I just think um, people under 18 shouldn't see anything like that. Um, you know, and there's obviously, there's there has been, you know, a lot of people disagreeing with you know, sites that shouldn't be allowed on the internet, but at the end of the day, it's down to the parents. Mm. It really is. You, there, there's so many people out there that, go, that you know, they're, they're talking about, you know, oh, I don't want my child seeing this or da 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 and everything. Yeah. But at the end of the day, how hard is it to go on your laptop, your computer, whatever you've got, you know, download the parental, you know, control thing yeah, and block yeah. all the sites, block block any kind of sites they don't want True. you know their child to look at as simple as that mm. you know well do you, i mean do you think that porn should be taught in as part of sex education um i think there's i wouldn't say like full on every single detail i think there should be some kind of um way of you know you know expressing yeah. certain things controlling it younger children need to be taught that it's not reality, yes. that it is 100% fantasy. Yeah. Yes. And that, that it, goes as yeah. far as to say, you know, you, you're watching a girl getting beaten and raped. Yes. That isn't real, that's no, all staged, just, yes. all of it. Mm -hmm. um, it's, I suppose it's just like, yeah. how would you do that in school for kids not to laugh and joke about it? They're gonna see it anyway, yeah. they're gonna find a way. Yeah, of course yeah. they're gonna find mm -hmm. a way, but it's just, um, it's one of those things that you, you got a, you're umming and ahhing really mm -hmm. about it, aren't you? You know, I mean, your parent could, you know, do the parent control. You could go to your mates and go on his laptop mm. or something. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. There's always going to be little. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Ones. I suppose back in the day, yeah. they, you know, they always found a way when it was. Print. Oh yeah, definitely. You'd go and find like a, a nudie mag in the park and be like, yeah, yeah. oh look at all the adverts. <laughs> like, guys is doing that. <laughs> you have a son. Uh, yes. I mean, how would you? How do you feel about your son? knowing I mean how old is your son um he's five, five. so he's at, he's at a good age actually got a way to go <laughs> oh yeah <Ooh. laughs> yes but um like how would you feel if when he's I don't know 12 or 13 you find out he's watching porn or um I would def I mean not being a hypocrite as such um but I would say to him you know there's certain things that you 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 can't watch mm. and you know, obviously I can't say now what exactly I'm going to say, mm. um, but I would definitely have to explain to him certain mm. things you can't look at just quite yet. Mm -hmm. um, and that, and just like, not in a horrible way of like, you know, 
you know, yeah, you don't want to make it yeah. the taboo thing. Yeah, that he yeah. Wants to do because it's the naughty thing. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So I've got to kind of, you know, wang it. it. And, and yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So um, plus, obviously, at the end of the day, if he's at home, parent control lock <laughs> on everything that I've got. So. <laughs> How are you going to tackle the issue when he's older about talking to him about what you do? Um, I think because we have such a close like relationship, like he's very much uh, a mummy's boy, mm-hmm. um, and there's so many people that will go, oh, he's going to hate you and stuff like mm. that. But at the end of the day, I've I've spoken to people that have been in the industry that are much older than me, and they have children and they've had that, they've gone through that, people saying your child's going to hate hate you when, you know, when he's old and he learns the real truth about, you know, your, his mum or her mum, whatever. Um, and they actually, it's it turns out the other yeah, way. Right they around, actually yeah. cherish their parents more. Um, and they, they, you know, majority of the people, they actually understand why they do certain mm-hmm. things. Mm-hmm. You know, because, that, you know, nowadays, you know, you you know you can't really get a normal nine to five job you know uh, for me i want certain things in life you know a normal nine to five job is not going to get me nowhere mm. it's really not working mm. with a company you know it's not you that's, yeah it's, it's so i mean i've done that i've i've had normal jobs and that yeah. and i still do normal jobs and that yeah. um you know i like to keep busy doing various different things you know but um I'm not worried, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't no. Do, no, definitely not. Because yeah. what's the point of worrying? I mean, like, most of the time it's when peer, parents like actually explain everything to their child and yes. don't keep them in the dark. Yeah, definitely. That's when it fucks up. Oh, yeah, I definitely. Like, I'm very much like an... Like, I always, you know, if I... You know, I always talk to him with things, you know, if I disagree on certain things that he does or, you know, he comes to me and he, like, he asks me questions and things. And... You know, I'm gonna obviously, you know, answer his questions and everything. Mm. So I think he's he's definitely, um, even though he's five, but he's definitely got a good he- head on him mm. and he understands things really good. Yeah. So, oh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> That's so good. And then you know, having my mouth shoved with cookies. Top sex tips. I hundred percent agree with that. Yeah. That is so many. <laughs> what would you say to that? Because you've got some tasted lips right there.